we were creating uh, a, second, a secondary event space. Uh, we have one cellar that we use for functions for up to 60 people and we're creating a second uh, cellar event space on site over two tiers that would take up to uh, 40 guests for a sit-down meal and tastings. The original building w is uh, on Pau Mau. Um, that wa the fascia was kept, the uh, bottom two floors were excavated out uh, to create our purpose-built kitchen and event space uh, and above that another seven floors of uh, office space were created and built. So it was a fairly major nine-storey um, building work, piece of work in central London. We were given the, the brief that the space has got to be modern but also be completely functional for everyone that would be wanting to, to use the space. Uh, with the uh, creation of 4K um, interfaces uh, as well as the opportunity to use something like Air Media uh, as a platform to allow our clients to uh, wirelessly present was a very attractive prospect for us. Going back to how the space was designed, we constantly sat in so many meetings uh, here in fact where we would sit down with the various contractors um, and work through their particular problems, their issues and make sure that the AV was designed to solve those problems. So when we talk about the, the problems with the acoustics, we, we sat down with the interior designer, the architect and, and channeled through what the space needed to achieve and work through some calculations to ensure that the acoustics would be delivered without the complexities that you'd normally find of reverberations through the room. We went to the lengths of testing acoustic fabrics on speakers so that we knew that we could perfectly match the acoustics of the, the space with the, the design from the interior designer. The speakers are hidden behind acoustic paneling which we tested. Um, the displays are hidden behind beautiful antique glass mirrors um, and we just made sure that everything fitted correctly. So we worked, as you can see, that the, the displays are very flush mounted. So we used pull-out brackets so they could be hidden with, it, with nothing on show. No cables, no plug sockets. Um, everything was completely discreet. The wine is the main focus and the AV is just to complement that. So it was about helping them deliver those messages through effective AV. We wanted them from day one to have the ability to wirelessly present, not just themselves, but their clients. So they could come in with their iPads, tablets, phones, laptops, and not have to connect with cables. You know, We wanted them to be able to just simply see the displays. And each floor is ambidextrous in the sense that they can have their same presentation on both floors simultaneously, or they could have different presentations on either floor. Um, so it, needed, it created a, a space or two spaces that had the most creative use for them. That hole in the middle was the most challenging problem because of the audio. Um, and we had to work very carefully with manufacturers in terms of the audio DSP that we were using in order to make sure that the space had sufficient audio levels without compromising the level below or the level above. With AV, we're always the last ones on the list to be thought about. But because we had such an early start with this, we became very much involved from day one. Uh, and that was a pleasure because everybody was great to work with. We all were on the same team and we all wanted to deliver for the client, which we did. Well, we're looking very much forward to, to not only utilise it as a, as a uh, corporate event space, as well as uh, uh, use for the company alongside our uh, wine school that uh, have individual ticketed events in for lunches and dinners, uh, as well as wholesale, uh, retail, fine wine and other elements of the business being able to use a modern and completely functional event space.